Okay. Hi, I'm Tommy. Hey, I'm Chris, and welcome to YouTube Celebrity Gossip News, where we got some breaking stories and stories from the um, YouTube and celebrity media world. So, uh, I'm going to be talking about some stuff with Dr. Conrad Murray and more. What about you, Tommy? What's going on with you? I'll be talking about um, Olga Kay's new website. I'll be talking about um, this... What, um, some YouTubers were doing this past, were doing this weekend to raise money for charity. And that's pretty much it because it's been a kind of slow news week for YouTube. Great. Okay, so let's get into it. Um, we also got some uh, subscribers for you guys to take a look at. Do you want to start with that, Tommy? Let's start off with QJJ uh, Projects. Looks like he does um, vlogs versus videos. A little bit of everything, some uh, real life gaming trailers. So vlogs versus videos, that's great. And you guys could take a look at that channel. So um, two more Tommy and then we'll start our news. Uh, and with son, Jake. And it looks like what he does. He makes videos about um, how he would change the world basically. How you change the world. Wow, okay. So yeah. Sweet. So take a look at Jake's channel where he just uh, talks about changing the world and um, interesting videos. The links will be down below. Check out the links and down below and uh, subscribe to these guys too. Our last and final one for now. And then the next time we do this we'll have some more subscribers for you to check out. Basically this guy is goes under the name of Fallen Ent. And he's a gamer. He also has uh, videos like PlayStation 4 versus um, Xbox One, where you decide which one you like better. Right. So, yes, check out this gamer because um, gamers are awesome. You learn a lot through them. And uh, basically, um, you could see a lot of interesting videos from him as well. So, check them out. Let's get into the news. I'm going to start off with talking about Olga Kay, who four, yep, four days ago, yeah, roughly four days ago, she launched her new website called Mooshville World. Not Mooshville World, Moosh World. And it's basically a website with things about, for all, anyone who's into makeup, video games, vi um, just catch up on latest videos, if you um, did see any things, and blogs. Basically a little bit of everything for everybody. Um, I think that's an interesting thing. Moose World, awesome, very, very awesome. Olga K rocks. We've met her in person. She is so awesome and so beautiful. So those of you that you know love going to new websites, check out Moose World. Oh, and uh, click here on this annotation or look down below to see an interview that we did with her. So we have some very big news on Dr. Conrad Murray. In a bizarre rambling interview with the Daily Mail, Murray says, you want to know how close uh, me and Michael were? Well, I held his penis <laughs> every night to fit it, it in the catheter because he was insufficient at night. So basically he goes on to saying that he doesn't know how to wear a condom, and stuff and um, Dr. Crown Murray keeps on saying that Michael was the one who woke up and was so out of it that he when Dr. Conrad Murray woke up I mean when Dr. Conrad Murray took out of the room he um, got um, a syringe and injected himself more with the stuff that supposedly killed him but that's not true but we will not go into that right now so what are your thoughts about that Tommy? Well, that's um, interesting, and also TMI, too much information. Uh, but right. there's lots of people out there that Absolutely. could have done without that. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. 
Um, I just think that Dr. Conrad Murray is desperate to get stories out there just because he knew the King of Pop or he knows the King of Pop and, um, you know, it's wrong. So, there you go on that story. Um, moving on, what else do you have for us, Tommy? Okay. <clears throat> uh, starting at around yesterday at 12 noon, going to 12 noon today, over at the YouTube space in London, Miles Dyer hosted uh, um, yet again another Stick Aid uh, event where he raises money for UNICEF. This year, he t the focus was sending money to Syria with the conflict over there. And there's um, all sorts of British YouTubers, big and also some I've not heard of. We're performing, entertaining people, doing challenges and whatnot throughout the 24 hours. Um, if you did get a chance to see of it, there will be highlights on the Stick Aid YouTube channel. Okay. So what's your thoughts on that? I think that's pretty awesome. I, I think that's pretty awesome. So those of you that have not checked that out, check it out. And it's really great to see. We have um, Billy Ray Cyrus. Billy Ray Cyrus, well, he did something for Miley, um, Miley Cyrus since it's Miley Cyrus's birthday. He dropped a ton of cash on her, uh, buying her a lot of things. And in fact, um, he got a set of new wheels for her birthday. And, um, it's a really, really nice design and a really nice motorcycle. Um, it has MCs all over it, but um, oh, MCs, it has, it's like a motor motorcycle, Tommy. Um, a, um, it's uh, a, it's a three-wheeler nice motorcycle with MCs all over it, meaning Miley Cyrus's name. So, um, you know, guess see guess uh these achy breaky hearts you know uh royalty checks never stop so what are your thoughts about her getting a new motorcycle for her birthday tommy well if that's what his if that's what her dad wants to get her then uh yeah i just hope we don't see any really weird music videos coming out from that Thing. So a little bit of video game news for those of you that don't know, that do know, who knows, you might have been hiding underneath a rock or were like um, working or having a life just like we, well basically the Xbox One just came out and um, um, basically uh, my thoughts about the Xbox One coming out, I am not going to rush out and get the Xbox One right away because there's always something going wrong when you know Xboxes come out or PS4s or Nintendo Wii's it could be any video game thing so basically I'm just gonna stick to my own right now so um, what are your thoughts on what are your thoughts on the Xbox one coming out Tommy well the number one thing that a lot of people have had problems with is software issues where certain things haven't been working mm -hmm. And also, the, um, the, the whole Kinect thing is not as, as crisp as they, you know, show, um, they showed at E3 or at the Xbox, um, the Microsoft, uh, uh, what do you call that thing, event, where they announced announce furthermore about the Xbox One. They introduced it at, you know, what it was going to be and stuff, and then they had, you know, the bigger event. And so, but they when they were talking, they like, say, "Hey, Xbox, play CBS." It was, looked so real crisp and smooth. But then when people, um, I've heard people have had to repeat themselves several times. So, yeah, it's not working as great as it looked in the begin when they were right. showing it at at the event. And that's so, it. So, that's, uh, um, that's all I got too. So I'm Chris. And I'm Tommy. And this has been Next watching. Level Productions. The channel that takes you to the next level. <laughs> Peace out.